Hi, thank you for joining me for another cup of inspirational coffee. Today I'd like to talk about trouble in the midst of a storm. You know, in the, in the book of Mark, chapter 4, it talks about Jesus teaching on the shoreline to the people that were down there. And, and as he was teaching, the crowd started gathering more and more and finally became a multitude. And he had to step back into the water and they started pushing forward. And finally, he had to get on a boat so they can be seen and heard by everyone. Well, when he was finished preaching and teaching, he uh, commanded his disciples to sail to the other side of the Sea of Galilee because he wanted to be there by morning on the other side. Now, these were seasoned fishermen, seasoned men of the sea, so traveling across the sea was nothing to them. They knew it like the back of their hand, even if they had to travel at night. So they set sail, and as they went, Jesus decided to take a nap and went down and rested his head on the pillow in the stern of the boat. Well, as they were sailing, this mighty storm came, a vicious storm, and just hit them in the middle of the sea. And now, things that I've read about Sea of Galilee is that it's like 700 feet below sea level with mountain ranges up 9,000 feet above it. So imagine that cold air coming down off the mountains and brushing across that warm water. That would make a storm just happen instantly. And these became just vicious storms. I mean, these are hurricane uh, strength wind storms. So the boat's tossing around and water's tossing in it and and they became afraid. These, even these seasoned veterans became afraid and became terrified. And they ran down to Jesus and woke him up and they said, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, don't you, don't you care that if we die? And Jesus said, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Then he rebuked the wind and the sea and he said unto it, peace be still. And the wind ceased and the sea became calm. And there was a great calm. You know, when I think of this story, I don't just think of the miracle that Jesus performed there on the boat in front of his disciples. But I think that he was with them on the boat in the flesh, but they still became afraid. They still had that fear come about them. And you know, it's natural for us as Christians, too, to be fearful. When your emotions kick in and something happens and it tells you to be afraid, it's, it's like your fight or flight kicking in. But we can't overcome that through Jesus Christ. He was with them in the flesh on the boat, and he is with us through the Holy Spirit. He's only a thought away. So even though we fear, it's okay. We have Christ to turn to and ask him to take over and take the fear from us and do the battle for us. So when growing, that fear starts growing inside you, just remember that Jesus is the calm in the storm. Let me leave you with Proverbs 29, 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whosoever puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Take that with you today. Trust in the Lord. Be safe. He said he'll never leave us or forsake us. Thank you for joining me today for another cup of inspirational coffee. If you have any prayer requests, I, I uh, ask you to please send them to us. And if it's a private request, uh, you can send it to a private message. Just hit the message tab on, on the uh, upper part of the, of the screen, and you can send that to us. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Have a great day.